just do a quick review with you of some important verbs. Let's start with this group of ER verbs. Uh, there's a group of verbs called the ER verbs. They're called regular. Regular means that they a whole bunch of them all follow the same pattern. In English, we often have uh, regular verbs too, like talk. I talk, you talk, he talks. So we change forms in English depending on who's doing the talking. And this is called conjugating a verb. We need to do that uh, in French too. So the most common form uh, of verbs is the ER verbs, they're called. Uh, verbs that end in ER, and this is a, called a regular verb. If you learn the form for danser, je danse, tu danses, il danse, elle danse, nous dansons, vous dansez, il danse, il danse, you can use those same endings, the E, E, S, E, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, E, N, T. You can use those same endings for a whole bunch of other verbs, including some of these verbs. For example, M.A. Uh, apporter, chanter, chercher, demander, désirer, donner, écouter, étudier, fermer, jouer, montrer, oublier, parler, porter, regarder, repérer, trouver. So, it's a great thing. Just learn how these Verbs change forms. You learn it once, and you can apply it to so many, so many verbs, hundreds of verbs, really. So let's again look at the example of danser. One thing that you may notice is that um, the verb danser really, you know, there's not a whole lot of of changes. For example, in terms of sound, je danse, tu danses, il danse. Elle danse. Uh, il danse. Elle danse. Danse, 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 danse. So it's, the pronunciation stays pretty much the same, except for nous dansons and vous dansez, or in this case you see vous ne dansez pas, which is the negative. You don't dance together. Vous ne dansez pas ensemble. So let's take a look at this. Je danse avec Suzette. Tu ne danses pas avec Suzette, négatif. Il danse avec Marie. Elle danse avec Ali. Nous dansons ensemble. We dance together. Vous ne dansez pas ensemble. You don't dance together. Il danse bien. They dance well. Masculine. Elle danse mal. Um, oh, missing an S. Put that on. L is plural. So, as you see, elle danse, you get the ENT on the plural, whereas L, just one female, it's just E. So, je danse avec Suzette, tu ne danses pas avec Suzette, il danse avec Marie, elle danse avec Ali, nous dansons ensemble, vous ne dansez pas uh, ensemble, il danse bien, elle danse bien. So, the endings, E, E, S, E, O and S, easy, E N T, E N T. And really there's two pronunciations. Je danse, tu danses, il danse, elle danse, elle danse, elle danse, plural. And then nous dansons and vous dansez. So this is an example, danser, of the ER verb family. I also want to take a look today at a couple of other verbs that are very important for us study the French. The first one, which we covered in our early work units, is the verb to be. To be or not to be. D'être ou de ne pas être. C'est ça la question. So, the verb to be shows up all over the place. Um, for example, I might say, je suis de East Haven. I'm from East Haven. Je suis de East Haven. Okay? Or I might say, tu es de Boston. You are of Boston or from Boston. So, être. E-T-R. To be. Like other verbs in French, 
it changes form depending on who's being. So this is very similar to English. Je suis, I am. Tu es, you are. Il est, he is. That's three different forms in English too. So we also conjugate our verbs. Uh, that shows who's doing the talking. Um, we also um, have forms for the plural. For example, nous sommes optimistes. Notice there's an ES there because it's plural. And, well, the E is on there. It's, that happens to be the basic form. But there's an S because it's plural. Um, <clears throat> vous êtes pessimiste. There's an optional S with the little blue um, marks surrounding it because vous êtes can either be you guys are pessimists or you, madame or sir, formal, are pessimist. So optional S there depending on who the vous is. Ils sont grands. Notice again, there's an S on il. It's plural. They are big with an S. So that's masculine. What if it's a bunch of really tall female basketball players? Elles sont grandes. E-S. Ils sont grands. Elles sont grandes. Notice the difference. With the E after it, you hear the D. Without it, you don't hear it. Grand, grande. So let's go through that really quickly. Je suis tu es il est. Nous sommes vous êtes ils sont. Je suis tu es il est elle est. Nous sommes vous êtes ils sont. Elles sont. The verb être. We also have another really important verb. It's the verb avoir to have. Everybody's interested in what we are and what we have. So. Let's take a look at the forms. Again, we have to conjugate. It has forms. I have, you have, he has. Things change in English. Verbs change depending on who's having. Same in French. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a. Nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Zon. Notice that S-O gives a kind of Z sound. It's called liaison. Elles ont, ils ont. Here's some examples. J'ai 15 ans. I have literally 15 years. J'ai 15 ans. Tu as un problème. You have a problem. Il a soif. He has thirst. Elle a faim. She has hunger. Nous avons des amis. We have friends. Vous avez... Uh, 100 dollars. You have a hundred dollars. Ils ont mal au dos. They have literally back pain. Mal au dos. Le dos is back. Elles ont mal à la tête. Uh, they have headaches. Elles ont mal à la tête. So these are some common things. We can also say, we can also negate these. For example, J'ai 15 ans. Je n'ai pas 15 ans. Tu as un problème. Tu n'as pas un problème. Tu n'as pas de problème. Elle a soif. Elle n'a pas soif. I'm just making it an N, N, E, and then PAS sandwich around the verb. Elle n'a pas soif. Let me just demonstrate that. So easy. If it's a vowel, Simply going to add N apostrophe and then PA to negate it. So, il n'a pas soif. Elle n'a pas faim. Nous n'avons pas des amis. Nous n'avons pas d'amis. This is more like some friends. If I say pas d'amis, it's more like saying we don't have any friends. So, pas de, de, it would be the negative. I'm going to write that in there. Nous n'avons pas, and just like we would say, we have some friends, we can say, nous n'avons pas d'amis. And this would be, we don't have any friends. Nous n'avons pas d'amis. 
de négation, pas d'amis. Vous avez 100 dollars, you have 100 dollars. Vous n'avez pas 100 dollars, you don't have 100 dollars. Ils ont mal au dos, ils n'ont pas mal au dos. Elles ont mal à la tête, elles n'ont pas mal à la tête. Voilà les verbes. I hope that you are enjoying yourselves. And look at that snow just coming down. Good news for skiing out here in the east. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Alors, au revoir et bonne journée.